When you tell somebody, hey, you're, you're bad, you're evil, you're ugly, you're, you're no good for nothing, dirty, junky, eventually the person starts to believe it. Basically, I've been using drugs most of my life. It was not a serious thing until the last 20 years when things, everything fell apart and it became all-consuming, the drug became the whole thing. My whole life revolved around getting opiates. Imagine waking up every day and saying, oh, I need to get this drug and having no way to do it. You know, you have no money in your bank account. You have no, 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 no job left. You have no other way to do it, so you have to do something. I tried to quit many times. I've tried detoxes, treatment programs. I've, been, I've tried methadone at least 10 times in my life. It's a lifetime struggle. You know, sometimes you're, you'll be successful, other times you're not going to be that successful. But we've got to keep trying. When Salome came up, I right away wrote my name in. I got chosen, which was one year of intravenous heroin. They've set it up in a medicalized model where you have to go to the clinic every day to get your drug. It takes this amazing amount of stress out of a drug user's life. This, this, this stress of finding this drug every day, getting the drug by whatever means. People finally realize that, hey, I don't want to have to come to this clinic every day for the rest of my life and get this drug. So a lot of people leads to them wanting to stop using. And it was life-changing for me in the sense that I, I started to think about my life again. And you start to feel a sense of self-worth again that you lose when you're uh, really involved in, in, in heroin use. Society looks at heroin users as the worst of the worst. We don't have to treat people like that. I mean, you're, people will say, well, treat people like that. I mean, they're being the, the evil people in society. Well, we're being evil by, by, by creating this situation. We don't need to have a situation where people should have to do, to do these things to get drunk. Because I'll tell you, if they wasn't presented with the problem of getting that drug every day, I don't think they would be committing crimes. There are people like you and me, and we just got to save as many people as we can out there. And there's ways to do it. I think heroin assisted treatment is, is one way, and it works for heroin addiction. I know that I'm not going to do it forever. I know that this is a way for me to, to, to get to the point where I'm not going to want to do it again. And hopefully, I'll, I'll be successful. I know I'll be successful. <laughs> I'm talking about hopefully. I know I will, you know?